This is another video that I'm making with Roger Panton is working with audio and video. I'm uh, making another video to show you some of the progress that I've made. <clears throat> now, um, I started doing more, uh, playing around with a lot more stuff in my OBS, and that's something that I wanted to get uh, more on. You know, it's more effective than let everybody know what I've been working with. Last time I showed you guys uh, my OneNote that I uh, have been using for uh, the narrator. It's pretty cool. I'll show it to you here. I can go to the website on my browser, or I can also go down to the bottom of my password. That far, and I have it downloaded there too. But with the narrator, I can use it on the web. Web to do kill shot effect, so we know that we can control the audiences. And I also started doing some more digging around, and I came out with what well, it's not digging around what it was so I actually learned how to use uh, my my browser basically on my OBS. Now it gives you the options here to um, I don't know how well you guys can see this but, um Right here, it allows you to create a, a, a browser, and I changed them around. I made one for music, a few for music. I named one music, and then the second one music one. And I also have a video text for Microsoft Edge and for OneNote, and I just did video text and then in a little. I put my soft edge in it, and then in the other one I put one note. Just want to show you guys that. Now on my OBS, up the top of it, I have the Microsoft or video text there, and when I pop that option open, it comes up to the top or down to the bottom. It's referred to the bottom. It says interact. All I have to do is click on that, and when I click on it, I get this right here. The object that I just moved, that I'm moving around right now, and that pops up my, uh, my, um, basically it's one, you know, I'll switch it around and let you guys look at it. See, that's one note right there. Now, whenever you turn around and sign or get onto it, you want to go into a website, you have to go through this interact option in order to, to be able to do the sign in on this, uh, on this little note right here. I'm trying to say say stuff the best way I can. I can work on it. <laughs> so, let me just continue with what I'm saying. So, what I do is I come in here, and on that little browser, it's just like being on the website. Um, I turn around and I hit the view option, and of course, that's the 
I go to the view, and in here it says immersive uh, reading, which if you look at it on here, you can see it right here, it says immersive reader. I was on the website, I hit it, and boom, right there. But right here, it's the same situation. I just hit that, and it brings it up just like it does on the website. So I can do it. Kill shot effect. Option. So we know that we can control the audience's eye through changing something on the screen. Or I can do it this way. Kill shot effect. So we know that we can control the audience's eye through changing something on the screen, size, color, movement, and all pull your viewers' eyes to a very specific part. Now, if you notice to right down on my options in the sources, I don't have the eyeball split up. It's it's crossed up. And with the interact option too, that means like the audio on one of my videos without having to show this thing um, for interact. So that means all I have to do is do the video for play. Part of the frame. Now we are and going to go to the next step in learning about how we can shape an audience. Let's just go right back up to the beginning there. Mm. Kill shove effect. So we know that. It does the same thing right there. So that's something that I did want to share. And I will be bringing some more back for you guys here in a little bit. I just uh, wanted to get on here and show you some progress. This was brought to you by Tuts, Tips, Tricks, Reviews, Unboxed, on YouTube, and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love.